So I'll talk briefly, welcome back, so I'll talk briefly about what is this longitudinal ethnography thing that the author is talking about on page 930, page 932. What is an ethnography, first of all? So it comes from ethnographia, you know, describing society, describing culture, rather. Okay. So an ethnography means the researcher goes out into the field and observes people doing stuff the way they do them. Now, Hazel Tucker, the writer of this article, has a lot of experience working in Turkey and she's written many, many things on Turkish entrepreneurship, Turkish gender roles. She's been going, I believe she said, to Turkey since um, at least a couple decades uh, that she's been going to Turkey and kind of experiencing the way they do things. So she's very much part of the action. She understands the setting and she's t basically taking field notes on the things that she observes and then she's composing it into a story. So that's basically, and it's longitudinal because it's multiple vignettes over time. I hope that clarifies what the methodology of this paper is. Let me ask you this. What do you think? Do you think that ethnography is a valid method for studying things? Do you think she'd have been better off um, using some hardcore statistical analysis? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, give me a thumbs up. That's a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.